What's up guys, John here from As Told from The Wheelchair. Are you ready for a brand new video? If so, break that thumbs up button and show your support. Before we go on with the video, I want you to do me a favor. See that like button down there? Go ahead and hit that if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for future video updates. If you're ready for the video, let's roll. Today's video is a re-upload from October 28th, 2019. The title of the video, Nine Tips for Maintaining Disability Self-Care. The comprehensive blog post that I wrote on this topic is available down in the description. Tip number one, don't be afraid to ask for help. Asking for any sort of help does not mean you are throwing in the towel or that you are done with everything. You just need some help to complete some stuff. You are strong, but sometimes even we need help too. Tip number two, do not be afraid to be alone. Sometimes alone time is a way to reset the brain. Think of it as restarting a computer or a diet. You may have to do it several times before you are completely restarted and ready to go. So take as much time as you need to restart. Tip number three, putting yourself first. Some people think it's selfish to put yourself first, but in my humble opinion, people with disabilities need to put our health first before we take care of others. As my buddy Joel puts it, even superheroes need a break. Tip number four, don't hesitate, just ask. If you need something, just ask. Nobody will be upset with you for needing something. I even ask for help sometimes and I'm 26. Don't be afraid, just conversate your needs. Tip number five, set boundaries. We all should have boundaries. Disabled or not, boundaries are keys to proper life skills achievement. Don't be afraid to set even minuscule boundaries. It works, trust it. Tip number six, stay home. When you feel like you can't adult, cancel your plans, stay in your pajamas and relax. I do it even on the toughest days. Tip number seven, say no. I say no all the time and it works for me. If you're being overloaded, don't be afraid to say no. You may hurt some feelings, but in the end, it's your disability health on the line. Tip number eight, forgive yourself. If you feel like you've let yourself down because your disability got in the way of certain plans you had, don't be afraid to apologize to yourself. No one's gonna think you're crazy because of it. I even do it, try it, it works. Finally, tip number nine, take a step back. When you feel your circuits are being overloaded, you can combine tips seven and nine of our blog, don't be afraid to say no, and then take a step back. It will really improve your overall health, both physically and mentally. Well, there you go. Our tips for maintaining disability self-care. Take these steps and apply them to your next overload to avoid Mental Meltdown Mondays or Friday Freakouts. Guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, favorite, and go lift up somebody who's down. And remember, your situation may be hard, but there's always someone like me ready to lift you up again. I'll see you guys on the next video.